I'll just give you a rundown of the seven major principles that uh, all of my sort of work that with my child and what I'm going to be sharing with you is all about. Uh, so there's seven big steps. I'll just go through the big picture. I can't go through all the details, just like so much of it. Um, so the first thing is you have to get yourself ready. So uh, there's a whole lot of work that I felt that I did for myself that had a really big important part in getting my son to where he needed to be. Uh, it's your own mindset, it's your own beliefs about um, parenting, about Asperger's, about the word normal, um, about a whole bunch of things. So I, I go into that with quite a lot of detail. Uh, if you're not handling stress and pressure yourself, you've got to get over that, you've got to get that in line in order to be a good role model for your child and to have the strategies to teach them how to do it as well. So that's number one. Uh, number two is to adopt a certain list of um, success strategies. So certain principles to live by and to work by and uh, that I've found them all really, really valuable. So I'll share those. Uh, the third is about knowing the rules. Like, at times when you know you're under pressure and perhaps people in your life even disagree with you about what's right and what's wrong, I think um, it's really important for us to be clear about where the boundaries are drawn as to what is acceptable behaviour and what is unacceptable behaviour. Once we are sure, then we're able to pass that on uh, to our children with certainty and to expect that behaviour of them as well. So that was something that was a bit grey for me and I really felt as soon as I had that clarity, it all started to come together. So I'll share that. Um, and the fourth thing is to actually have some skills, coaching skills, specific skills, the how to, actually in the heat of the moment, how do you help your child do X? Now this is the one big uh, benefit I think that I can offer that a lot of psychologists, psychiatrists and all of that don't do. They really um, consult with you, uh, uh, consult with your child, I should say. Uh, what I do is teach you the skills to be the uh, your own personal life coach. And so when you're really stuck, well, what do I do? And it's not just a matter of what you say you expect them to do and you tell them to do something and you expect a result. It just isn't going to work, nor does willpower work. What I think we need to draw on is want power. We want them to want to achieve what it is that's mutual for us and we help them get there. And it's, these are the tools that will help you navigate to allow them to discover it for themselves. And number five, five is managing stress. And that's not just yours, <laughs> but your Asperger's. So for them, stress is a big deal and it comes out in all sorts of ways. You know, from flapping, tantrums, the whole thing, lack of sleep. Uh, so there's lots of principles that I share about that success, successful ways that I've learned that um, help them keep their stress in order. And, you know, I would say my son in the old days, um, he could not sit still for more than 10 seconds. Like if 10 seconds, it was lucky. So what I did is I trained him and got him to learn some uh, you know, relaxing techniques and how to manage his state, his state is his emotional levels. And uh, now he goes minutes, he can lie still and it's sensational. And he carries that wherever he goes now, he's quite calm and uh, he doesn't run about off. And actually flapping has gone, it started to sneak back recently but um, for years it's been gone. Uh, so huge success and I'm really happy to be able to share that with you. Number six is actually understanding personalities and human behaviour and what is um, just our personality and what is Asperger's. So to be able to be clear about what's my personality, how do I think, how, does I, how do I process information with my brain and compare that with uh, what is expected of normal behaviour and then also knowing well, where does it tip into Asperger behaviour that needs to be modified. So you're really clear about uh, 
what's just a personality difference and what's starting to become unacceptable behaviour. So it's kind of a bit of rules, but it's around uh, just, and also tolerance around each other and understanding. And also what I think is most valuable is I was communicating to my son in the way that I felt was going to be the best way to be communicated to. But that was if I was talking to myself. What I've learned is he had his whole other language of his own and I had to learn how to communicate with that in order to get him to start to think about doing what I needed him to do. So that's huge learning. And you know what, even in uh, marriages between uh, two parents that are um, raising an Asperger, if they can understand each other and reduce some of that conflict even amongst themselves, you know, to me that's just got to help. And the last thing is about learning to connect with others. And so it's all very well for us to say, go and play with your friends or go and make a friend, you know, but actually how do you do that? And it's not just, you know, the actions. We all say, well, go and ask them this and share that and you know, all that, that's just on a very surface level. So what I teach is how to connect with people on a subconscious level where it feels right. So it's really fitting in at a really, really deep level. So I'm really um, excited. Those, to me, those seven principles are behind everything that I got. Um, and to have the thought that there's so many other families out there that could have results like we've had or get close or even just to get you know one thing out of something here that they ordinarily wouldn't have that could make the slightest difference in your life to me then you know my passion is fulfilled so I um, really hope you enjoy it feels exciting for me to have these things in my hand uh, and so look forward to um, your feedback please you know I'm always open to feedback email me, ask me questions, that's when I'm at my best really. So you ask me a question, I'll give you all the coaching tips and I can refer to the coaching tips that are in the book and say under that circumstance, try that, that, that and that. And in fact I do that in the book with a couple of my, uh, well not a couple, I think there's 20 of my um, top tips and I give you all the coaching tools specifically to use for that. So really hands on and uh, it's here, so I look forward to being in touch. Thanks a lot.